We're getting calls and mails from across the country and it's fascinating to see how vibrant is the investor market in property. People not only buy a home to live in, property is still considered far safer as an asset to invest in than equities. So watch this space closely for all that's real estate before you plunge in with your money into property. Here's a roundup of all that's happening in the realty sector across the country. Big deals, big moves and strikes which are not actually happening now. Developers in Mumbai have called off their one-day token strike scheduled for May 3 and opted instead for resolving their issues with the state government amicably. The strike had been planned to protest against approval delays and vagaries in policies. Chief Minister Prithviraj Chavan is scheduled to meet with more than 150 developers at Sayadri Guest House today. In the downbeat commercial realty market, American banking major Citigroup has signed the biggest office space deal in India to buy nearly 3 lakh square feet for 985 crore rupees. Spread over six floors of the 12-storey building First International Financial Centre in Bandra Kurla complex, the commercial space has been bought at 31,000 rupees per square foot. City has said that FIFC will house all of City's key businesses, which are currently spread across Mumbai and other cities. Among realty majors announcing their financial results last week, Oberoi Realty said its order book jumped 50% to 1500 crore rupees in FY12. However, revenues and net profit were both lower than the previous year. India Bulls Real Estate reported a 3% drop in revenues but 1.5 times rise in net profit, while Mahindra Life Spaces said net profit rose 17% despite a marginal drop in revenues. One of India's biggest developers, DLF, is in talks with three Mumbai-based real estate companies Lodha, Ranwal and Shet to sell its land in central Mumbai, the business standard reports. DLF is seeking a valuation of 3,000 crore rupees for its 17-acre plot, while the potential buyers are pegging it at 2,000 to 2,200 crore rupees. DLF had bought the land in 2005 for 702 crores from state-owned NTC. Former Australian cricket captain Steve Waugh has joined hands with real estate developers in Pune and Coimbatore to set up an integrated sports facility in upcoming residential townships. While the names of the developers are not yet known, negotiations are said to be at an advanced stage. Steve Waugh's independent venture, Sporting Edge Communities, is also in talks with potential developers in Ahmedabad, NCR and Central India. Townships that partner with Waugh will have facilities for aquatic sports, soccer training and cricket academies. Following the Reserve Bank of India's 50 basis point cut in key rates, banks such as ICICI Bank and Punjab National Bank have lowered their home loan rates for new customers. Both the banking majors now offer home loans from 30 to 75 lakh rupees at a rate of 10.75%. For loans above 75 lakh rupees, ICICI Bank offers a rate of 11.25% and PNB of 11%. However, other big banks such as State Bank of India, HDFC Bank and Axis Bank are yet to announce any revision. The billionaire Hinduja brothers have firmed up plans to unlock value from the land holdings of 2,500 acres in India. The diversified conglomerate is planning to make Hinduja Realty Ventures their main revenue generator in the next 5-7 to seven years. To start with, they will look at spending around 7,300 crores to develop nearly 40 million square feet of space in Bangalore and Hyderabad. Hinduja's Realty Arm has also started work on an IT park on 40 acres of land owned by group firm Gulf Oil in Bangalore. Ajit Gulabchand led HCC Swiss construction arm Carl Steiner is set to enter the Indian market this year. The company specializes in turnkey development of buildings and renovations along with other real estate construction service. Gulabchand said Steiner is looking to establish its presence in India given the huge opportunities in the refurbishment of heritage structures. HCC bought a 66% stake in Steiner back in 2010. The company accounted for nearly half of HCC's revenues last fiscal. Gurgaon-based Avalon Group has earmarked around 400 crores to develop four housing projects over the next three years across North India. The residential projects will be launched in Bhivdi, Darahira and Vrindavan and will comprise around 3,000 apartments which Avalon has priced between 10 to 40 lakhs. The company also has a land bank of 200 acres in Rajasthan which it plans to use for future expansions. If you want to make a smart and informed decision on property, this is the show you should be watching. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app, fully optimized for retina display, full screen view.
faster response time and Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.